Hello guys, it's been a while since I had Friday video from my office about career advice because we were all busy with Laravel 12, starter kits, Laravel Cloud and all those topics. Finally, it's back in action, Friday video from my office about career, but this time not with my full face on screen, but instead I will show you the replies to this tweet. I recently asked seniors on Twitter and on LinkedIn what advice would they give to juniors in addition to my two random tips. And I've picked five five best ideas kind of overarching ideas with more popular replies but also i will link the full tweet and linkedin post so you can read all the replies now let's go advice number one and this comes from og dev educator jeffrey way from laracast quoting jeffrey focus on the fundamentals far longer than you think you need to so if you are active on social media, you probably see the trends of new tools, a new front-end framework, a new mobile framework, a new back-end framework, something to make our developer's life better. But in reality, and this is another tweet by Jeffrey, kind of continuation, from the beginning when the tool becomes trendy till it's actually adopted in the job market, it usually takes years. Remember how PEST became popular only like in five years or so. Same with Livewire. At first it was an experiment by Caleb, so it takes years. And so many tools don't even get to that wider popularity. So things like Laravel's Plate, it didn't take off. But basically the idea is to become a better developer. You need to focus on the fundamentals, on some popular language and framework you choose, and you get better at that. Focusing on the structure of the programming itself, not on using specific packages or tools. And there was also another similar tweet with a similar thought. Stick with one stack and get very good at it. Then later you can go to shiny objects if you have time and if you have energy to play around with them. But as for myself, at some point I realized it's just impossible to keep up with them all. Especially if you're following AI trends and LLM models. This is the whole new level of keeping up with them all. But even within programming languages and tools and frameworks, it's not worth learning a new thing every month. The second tip and piece of advice that was repeating in the tweet replies was about error messages. Messages. So often juniors ask on forums and on Twitter, I get this error, it doesn't work for me, why, please help. But in many cases the error message is actually useful, it just looks scary. So if it contains all the stack trace and with error message not necessarily in a human language, but in most cases it contains all the information, you just need to Basically, take a deep breath and read it a few times slowly. Most of the times, as Martin says, it points to the file and line number, not necessarily directly. It may be under a few layers of file dependencies. But if you take some time along the way, you not only have a chance to fix that error, but also along the way you will learn a lot of things about the tools, about how they work, about how to debug in general, and that is a priceless skill to have. Even looking at the future with AI, one of the professions or tasks for the developer, I would predict, is to be a debugger of a code written by LLM model. It's happening now already, it's not even the future. So being able to debug that something is wrong will be even more crucial skill in the future. And the same piece of advice went from Vlad, actually read error messages. The next piece of advice is the second part of Ben's reply, is about struggling through projects. So the idea is that you get out from tutorials and start building things. So it's cool if you can follow along with the tutorials, with fundamentals, like in our courses, for example, at Laravel Daily. But at some point you need to get creative and start building something yourself and only then you will start actually learning because you will bump into issues, learn to debug them, see previous point, and this is actually what developers do. Try to solve problem after problem. And another similar reply to the tweet with the same thought, don't get stuck inside the tutorial hell. Watch something and then build it yourself without copy pasting the code from the tutorial. And if you need project ideas to practice, I have a free tutorial with ideas, 15 project ideas, just general project, not necessarily with Laravel, but some project that would mimic real life and mimic real projects from potential clients. I will link that one in the description below. Or you can just go through freelance job board, like for example, Upwork, where I took a lot of ideas and have another section. I'm not updating that anymore, but still a few ideas here from real projects from Upwork. 
Tip and advice number four comes from Abelardo. Write the code not for yourself, but for the next developer. And that next developer may be yourself in the future. So your goal is to not write the code so it would work now. Your goal is if you come back to change something in that code after a few months, then you would understand how to make changes and understand the reasons why the code was written that way. In other words, one of your goals is to minimize the amount of WTF moments in the future. And another similar idea by Robin, but written in a shorter way, you are the worst enemy of your future you. So write your code in a way so that future you would thank you for that. Of course, that part comes a bit later in your journey. If you're in the very beginning stage, like a junior, first make the thing work and then think about maintainability and extendability and all of that. But as soon as you get familiar with the tools more deeply, start thinking about code being more maintainable. And the final piece of advice in a longer tweet comes from Clint, but it could be summarized in this be someone people want to work with. This is such an underrated skill of a human, basically not a developer skill. And then Clint lists some details. So for example, don't have ass things, own your mistakes, focus on the overall goal of the project or the company, not only on your goal to deliver something by Friday, because quite often developers are so focused on their task and forget which part of the task may be more important for the company. So for example, it may be more important so they would help others to finish their part. And also very, very important and very, very often don't be a complainer. This is also kind of a personality thing. Even on Twitter, on social media, you see a lot of people complain about starter kits, this and that, Laravel cloud, this and that, why Laravel new version, this and that. And yes, you can be unhappy with some of the decisions in the company or in the framework or whatever, but from the fact that you complain, nothing really changes except for other people who read your message will like less to work with you. So basically by complaining, you're ruining your career future. If you're not happy with something, then provide suggestions, potential solutions, pull requests, detailized ideas, alternatives, something. And this is another point by Clint, have solutions. And also similar idea by Anthony here, learn to communicate, especially with people who are not technical, your managers, your clients. In my experience, in many companies and projects, people who have skills to communicate they're much more valuable. Even my own career, so I had a big career on Upwork. I was freelancing for five years or so. I was winning a lot of projects just because I was able to explain some things in human language to a client who are not technical. So the overall advice and probably the final tip and overarching tip is being a good developer is much more than just writing good code. It's about working in a team, being a good communicator, don't be a jerk, basically. And this also matters as much or sometimes even more than writing good code. What do you think about those five pieces of advice? Would you add something else? And I will link that tweet in the description below so you can read all the replies in full. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.